Okay, folks, here we are tonight at Tom Burner Field with uh, Muskies versus the Clinton River Kings. Uh, River Kings come into tonight with a 3-17 and record, a 1-9 and record conference play. Muskies come in with a 9-14 and record and a 2-7 and conference record. On the bump for the Muskies is Silva. Playing behind the plate is, of course, Lerma. Hollenbaugh at first, Maher at second, Bars at short, and I messed up on third, guys. Sorry, Norton's on third, and Burke is out in left field, Moss in center, and Dolfell in right. So far, the we've got one out, one on, and up to the plate now is Addison Benny. For the river King. runner going, throw, good throw, just out of position a little bit. So, got a runner on second with one out for the River Kings. Silva gets his sign. Here comes pitch. High and outside. Ball. 3-0 count now for Silva. Needs to come back strong here. Pretty good night for some baseball. We finally got some rain the other day. At least I did back home. <laughs> On the corner called strike. Nice pitch there by Silva. Silva sets. Takes a look at the runner. Lerma. Little grounder to second for out number two. That'd be a 4-3 out. Number five is the batter. Kinnick Bealitz. On the Next up for the River Kings, third baseman number five, Kinnick Bealitz. Bealitz. Okay, we'll say Bealitz. Okay. Works for me. Oh. Woo. So he moved the runner over to third, though, so we need to get an out here. Ooh, got the call there for strike number one. I like it. Good frame job there by Lerma. Called time here. Pretty big dude stepping in there at the play uh, at bat right now. Just missed outside. One and one. Muskies wearing their white with pinstripes. I like these uniforms. Of course, the River Kings in black and white. Swung on, fouled, out of play. Got a one two count. Throw him a chair. Let him sit down. Silva gets his sign. He sets. Nice! No, struck him out swinging for out number three. So after the top of the first, the River Kings get one hit, leave one stranded, and no runs. One hit. One left on base. After half an inning, River Kings zero. Muskies coming to bat. Coming to bat for the Muskies will be Burke. Maher and Lerma.
So on the bump for the River Kings is Deerhen, Carpenter behind the plate, Lawrence on first base, Benny on second, Thomas at short, and Bielitz at third, Huizinga at left, Bailey out in center field, and Bentley out in right field for the River Kings as they're getting ready. Lefty on the mound for the River Kings. Muskie's coming back from Fort Dodge, is that right? Fort Dodge? I think that's where they were over the weekend. interesting I haven't seen that for a while catcher throws to first instead Leon of throwing down to second well Leon Burke steps in for the Muskies leadoff hitter Come on, Liam. Liam steps in takes a look at strike one I always like to see that first strike. Sometimes a lot of batters like swinging at that first pitch. Ooh, caught the corner for strike two, 0-2. Oh, Liam falls behind now. Low and inside, just missed catching Liam. Out. Whoa, he did call that a strike for out number one. Next up for the Muskie, second baseman, number nine, Declan Maher. Declan Maher steps in. Outside ball. Swung on, popped straight up, but out of play down the line there. So one and one count here for Maher. Maher. Come on, Maher. Frankie, I can't get you saying these musketeer names right yet. <laughs> Takes a look at strike two. So he's falling behind now, one and two. Swung on, ground ball to short. A little tough to hustle, tough play. He was off the bag, wasn't he? Did he tag him though? Yep, and he does get the tag for a 6-3. Next up for the Muskies, catcher number 12, Xavier Lerma. Old Xavier Lerma stepping in now. Due for a big hit. Get something started. Let's go on two. I like going on two. Outside ball. Two outs, bottom of the first. Outside ball. Comes the pitch. Popped up. Got under it just a little bit. Now we got a conversation at first base where the pitcher does come over and makes a play for out number three to retire the Muskies. They go one, two, three. Score is zero, zero. 
makes a difference. United Rentals. You're building the future. We're here to help. Rivo, the plumbing experts for Muscatine and surrounding areas, has moved. Our new location at 1109 Grandview Avenue offers spacious parking and a large open showroom. Employing experienced plumbers and carpenters, we specialize in remodeling entire bathrooms and kitchens. Imagine the possibilities. Stylish new faucets, sinks, shower units, bathtubs, and more, along with tankless water heaters and gas fireplaces. We also provide complete residential and commercial plumbing services. Rivo Incorporated. Call us for your next remodel. Have you heard the littlest things can make the biggest difference? Every day, bigs and littles are connecting in our community. Their time together can look a little different, but the goals and outcomes are the same. Littles are building confidence, forming better relationships, a sense of belonging, and achieving big goals. But there are more kids just like me who are still waiting. Will you join us in making more matches possible? Support big brothers, big sisters. River Rehab Physical Therapy. Feel better, move forward. And we're back, folks. Leading off the of the for the River King. First baseman, Hunter Lawrence. Hunter steps in, crowding the plate. Something inside. Swung on, missed. Good pitch. Outside and away. Just missing the outside corner. Silva sets, throws, pops straight back and out of play for strike number two. Get him here, Silva. Sets. Caught him. Nice job. Strike out. Looking for out number one. You know, Toby, you really missed one heck of a game Next Thursday up. night. Muskies. Lerma pitched five amazing innings. Really? They were up by seven. Then they were down 13 to seven. Oh, geez. And then they came back and won. No way. That's awesome. Wow. That's amazing. So it takes ball one there for Zinga. Just missing there. So Silva falls behind 2 0 now. Huzinga sets. 3 0 count. Now he's going to have to come all the way back. I'm guessing he'll be sitting that bad on his shoulder right now. Come on, Silva. You got this. There it is. Caught the corner there for strike number one. It'll be interesting to see how the Muskies adjust to different umpiring. You know, Thursday night there was it was a lot tighter. A couple games previous there was a lot of wide, wide strikes, mm -hmm. and they took a lot of K's looking. And so it'll be interesting to see how well they're able to adapt to whatever tonight's strike zone is. Yeah, and it seems like it's pretty good right now. I mean... He likes the outside corners, and um, it's been fairly consistent so far. So, Well, and the other thing is, how will the pitchers use it? Right. Nice pitch there. Got a grounder in it through the, through the four. I'm going to say the six hole there, but just in between five and six hole there. Next up for the River Kings, right fielder number 16. 
So Ethan Bentley steps in for the River Kings. Need to get an out here. One out. Runners on first and second. Set. Nice pitch. Right down the pipe. Silva sets. Doesn't even really. There he does. Check the runners. That's one thing the Muskie pitchers have done a great job of is keeping an eye on the runners. And that's that's a very key to kind of keep them in check so they know a little bit better. But swinging, foul tick, strike for Bentley. So he's down 0-2 with one out. Give him a strike out here. Catch one on that corner. Oh, just missing. Nice frame job there by Lermo to try to get the call. Silva sets, checks the runners, checks again, swung on foul. So still 1-2 to Bentley, who is playing right field tonight for the River Kings. 1-2 count. Throw him a chair, Silva, set him down. And he steps off. Second baseman. Maher runs over like a pickoff, but nothing happens. And a fly ball right up the middle. Can Moss get to it? Great catch by Moss. Wonderful catch. That's pretty par for the course for him, though. <laughs> yeah, for a lefty, too. I mean... So we got runners. Ethan Carpenter stepping in now. Number two for position number two, the catcher. We got two outs, runners on first and second for the River Kings. Silva's pitch. Where was that at? Umpire said low. Huh. Okay. So Silva's behind 1 0 to Carpenter. And Silva steps off again. Got two outs, bud. Let's get this batter. Comes the pitch. Caught the corner, strike one. One and one count now. There he goes, Silva. Ground ball, just touch second base. We're out number three, nicely done there by Bars. So the River Kings strand two with a walk and a base hit, but they did strand two, and after one and a half, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Did we mention quality matters? Welcome to our cut quality center. Let's take a closer look. Our mowers provide superior laser precision cut quality for a perfectly manicured lawn. Let's break this down in science terms. This grass is cut good. This grass is cut not as good. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. We just don't work out in a single plane of motion.
quad toilet to a complete sewer line replacement, Rivo is a modern plumbing company designed to respond quickly to all shapes and sizes of plumbing needs. Bringing in our heavy equipment to replace cracked gas lines or designing clever piping systems for new construction plumbing, a family-owned company that's reliably honest and remarkably affordable. Right here in Muscatine, all day long, every day of the week, Rivo Incorporated, skill, knowledge, and tools to solve the messiest problems. At Hustler Turf, quality matters, especially when it comes to the driving experience. Let's take a closer look. Our legendary smooth track steering provides buttery smooth turns, making maneuvering around obstacles a breeze. Unlike the jerky feel of other options, our smooth track steering is so effortless, anyone could make short work of the lawn. Hustler Turf, mow like a pro. Stop in to Muscatine Lawn and Power at 2020 Stewart Road to see Hustler quality for yourself. Okay, folks, we're back. Um, batting for the Muskies will be four, five, and six. That'll be McAtee, Moss, and Norton. McAtee DH in tonight for Holland Ball. Boom ba doo ba doo. Oh, he threw down to second this time. McAtee steps in. Darren on the mound again for the River Kings. Swung on, grounded right up the middle for a base hit. Nice attacking that first pitch for first base hit for the night for the Muskies. Moss stepping in. I don't know, is it too early to play a little small ball here and move him around? Yeah, it's with your number five hitter, you don't want to do it, but. But they are. <laughs> play a little small ball. That's moving the batter. Sacrifice bunt. Moves runner over to second. In scoring position for Norton now. Jacked up to the Muskies, third baseman, number 20, Tom Norton. So Norton steps in. Runner in scoring position. Probably have some kind of hit and run going here. Ooh, give foul. Chopped foul for strike one. <laughs> Set. Norton. Come on, buddy. Out. Just missing. So one and one count now. Come on, Norton, drive something to the outfield here. Find some green. On deck is Silva. Low ball. So Norton's ahead two and one. Swung on, uh, up the middle, off the pitcher's glove. That Come on, come on, there you go. Good job. I'm going to give that a base hit. Come on, Ethan. Next up to the Muskies, pitcher number 13, Ethan Silva. Let's go, E. I could see that going either way, though. I could see that being an error, but I'm going to give it a base hit. See, it would be interesting what my tag team partner says. You had base hit? Good man. I like it. That's a tough play to make. Takes a ball high. Got runners on the corners. 
Silva up. Help yourself out here, kid. Give it, get a run here. Ooh, he wanted that one, but he let her go. One on one count. That's kind of that tweener pitch there for Silva. Where if he swings at it, more than likely, I mean, unless he keeps his hands up, he's going to pop it up But because it was a little high. But if he keeps his hands up, he could probably drive through it. That's inside, but it is a strike. So falling behind now, Silva, one and two. Come on, buddy. Base it here. Fly ball should score a run to the outfield. That's a wild pitch, and that will score a run, making it one to nothing. So, and Norton does move over to second base. So we're looking at a 2-2 count here for Silva. So we still have another runner in scoring position now. Drive something to the outfield here, kid. Oh, hard hit down the third baseline, but foul. Just ahead of it, just a hair. So a 2-2 count here to Silva. Swung on, but a drop third, and he's going to get on. He's on. Drop third, strike on for Silva. So Brooks coming in to run. Okay, Dahlfeld stepping in. Dahlfeld. I'm guessing we might send this runner. It's a free stolen base, pretty much. Out. But another wild pitch is going to score a run. Come on. Making it two to zero, Muskies. Having a meeting on the mound with the players here. Pitchers throwing some wild pitches here lately. So they're trying to calm him down a little bit. <laughs> Dahlfeld steps in. Hit and run right here. Outside ball. Is it 2 or is it 3 0? -oh. Comes pitch. That's. Whoa! Ball low. At least he's consistent with it. Takes strike looking there. That's definitely not going to swing at that one. Definitely had the red light on there. Now he can now he can attack. If, if it's his pitch still, so you still got to make him throw a strike here. Swung on, popped up. Good talk there. Popped out to second base for out number two. Bars stepping in. 
Braden. Got two outs, runner on second. Takes a look at strike one. Swung on, fouled, straight back for strike two. What amazes me is that the Muskies are competitive in all these games, and they're so young as a whole. I mean, now you might have one or two guys that are older, but for the most part, this is a pretty young baseball team. Comes pitch. Takes a good look at that one. 2-2. Two, two. On, Just missed there. Got to protect. Anything close, shorten your swing up. Just put it in play, buddy. See what happens. And he gets a base hit. That's going to score a run. Nice little poke there. So now we're back to the top of the order for the Muskies. Liam Burke steps in. Number nine hitter Bars doing his job there, turning the line up over. I like it. Liam, last time take a struck out looking up to bat. Takes ball one. Another run does come across, though, making a score three to nothing, Muskies. Keep it rolling here, Burke. There goes the runner. Oh, hit and run go, go, go. right go, off go, the pitcher. Go. That's a base hit. Beautiful shot right off the pitcher. I hope the pitcher's okay, though. But, I mean, definitely want to take a look at the pitcher there. <laughs> that was smoked right back at him. I mean, great hit. I just hope that, like I say, you hope the pitcher's okay. A nice hit and run call there. And he does seem to be okay. Now Maher steps in with runners on first and second base. 